Hi, my name is Chris Sensor with Data Physics Corporation, and in this video, I want to talk about why our 900 multi measurement function is awesome. Now, this is my test setup. I have an accelerometer in the uh, attachment point of this cantilever beam and a measurement accelerometer out at the end. I'm going to go into the 900 suite. And you can see here, this is a, a typical flat random test, but uh, my frequency resolution here is 5 hertz in the control spectrum to get fast response times in my control loop. Now, of course, this can cause problems in a measurement result because the measurement result typically has to be the same frequency resolution as my control spectrum. But with the data physics 900 multi measurement function, I can get finer frequency resolution off of the same input channels and get a more accurate picture of what's happening with a finer frequency resolution. Furthermore, I can get transfer function results, auto power spectra results, all kinds of different measurement functions in addition to my control and measurement spectra in a traditional systems results. I can even do a zoom analysis of the peak that I have at 27 hertz and get very, very fine frequency resolution. So as you can see here, I have a very nice peak in the zoom analysis at 27 hertz Whereas if I look in my general spectrum, I have 25 or 30 as a frequency line. I'm not quite sure exactly where in this band that resonant peak lies. And this can have a lot of applications. Uh, this would allow you to do uh, shaped random excitation for a modal test. It would allow you to even measure out of band energy. As you can see here, I'm going past 2000 Hertz where my control band is out to 4000 Hertz. And I can even see I have all this out of band energy and some of it is at an even higher peak than inside my control spectrum. So a lot of interesting things you can do with the multi-measurement here. Thanks for viewing.